What's up guys? Today we're doing an apple cake. So I almost didn't call this an apple cake. It's almost a quick bread. In fact, I think it would be a quick bread, but it's made in a cake pan. I'm using a springform pan, but anyway, it's an apple cake. It's got cinnamon, fresh apples, and it reminds me so much of fall and the flavors of fall. Love for you guys to give it a try. If you do, make sure you put a comment down below and let me know how it went. Um, if you're not a subscriber, click subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna start out with two cups of all-purpose flour. Into that, we're going to put a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking uh, powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and about a fourth of a teaspoon of ground of cloves. Throw that together and we want to mix that. We want to put a half a cup of brown of uh, white sugar and then one cup of dark brown sugar that's been cooked. And I'm just going to mix this together. This will help break up your brown sugar but it incorporates those spices throughout the cake. All right, that's good enough. All right, into this, we are going to put one half a cup of walnuts. Into that, we're going to put one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of vegetable oil, two eggs beaten, so now I'm just gonna grab a fork and stir this. It reminds you of a um, muffin mix. Fork. If you ever make muffins, that the batter from muffins is what it reminds me of. So that is mixed. Now, to that, we're gonna put one large apple that's been chopped. I actually had smaller apples, so I did one and a half small apples. Dump that in. And now we're just gonna kind of fold this together. It is really dense, y'all. Let's go with a fork. Yeah, a fork works better. All right. Mixed. All right, I have a nine inch spring form pan that I've sprayed. You could definitely just use a regular cake pan if you want to. Spring form is not required, but it makes it easy. And just put, let's come back to the spot. Put it in there and just kind of push it to the edges. Like that, and just spread it out even. This is ready for the oven. All right, this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until a toothpick is in, comes out clean or skewer. All right, guys, the timer is up. We're gonna take this out of the oven. There's something I forgot to tell you all. If you put it in a spring form pan, make sure you put a piece of foil below it because sometimes the oil will drip out along the edges. I've learned this the hard way and I learned it once again. So we take that out of the oven, let that cool for 15 minutes before you try to unring it and slice it. So our cake has cooled. What I'm gonna do is run a knife around the edge to make sure it's free. Okay, triple 
that pan. Try to pop it loose. Something stuck on this side a little bit. All right, it's free. Slide it up. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we'll set that on the pan and we're gonna cut a piece. Hopefully it's not stuck, which is not. That's what it's looked like. It's so dense, y'all. It's almost like a fruit cake. This time, smell the cinnamon in the apples. Mmm. Tastes like fall. That's my taste right there. Fall in a cake. Um, Give it a try. Tell me what you think. Put your comments, questions down below. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. We'd we'll love to have you as a subscriber. Welcome to my new subscribers too, guys. Enjoy the cake.